Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinstatic with the Kinstatics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new weekly vlog. So today is Sunday, April 23rd, I believe, and I'm starting a new weekly vlog. Today is a content day. I'm helping Kim with some content, and I'm also going to get some content for myself too. I'm trying to record all of my YouTube videos for this week. <sighs> today, well, I only have like... I'm going to do one today and then I'm going to do another one tomorrow. But today's really just a content day so that I can set myself ahead for the week for Instagram content too. Because your girl's back on the gram period. Make sure y'all follow me. But before we get into this vlog, before we get into the fun, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your bell notifications. Give this video a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Today is Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day content. And then Sunday fun day, Sunday fun day. So I think... I think I'm gonna go to the Little Dirk concert tonight in New York. I'm not sure yet, but if I go, then I will definitely take you guys with me and just hang out with my friends, go out and have fun. Y'all know, y'all don't see it here, but on my Instagram, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I I go out a lot. I ain't even gonna lie, I go out a lot. But at the same time, I get done what needs to get done. Period. So, um, what did I come on here to say? my last week's weekly vlog is about to go up i'm about to put a post on instagram and now i'm about to plan my outfit so that i can have kim take some pictures for me so i'm not sure what i want to put on but i want to put on a fit and i want my fit to include like pop of color so i'm gonna see what i have in my closet to put on and yeah my shoes had um because my next outfit is a heel but it's a clothes heel girl so i didn't think about it no and then i was to put these on i was like if your toes are not done, you should not have on open toe shoe. Sorry, guys. You should know I that. committed a violation. Yes. Huge violation. The girls are upset. I'm the girls. I'm <laughs> Behind the scenes with Kim and her What's content. Up? Kimmy's content. Okay. With the Crocs, per usual. About to change into the, the heels. With, with the, the undone toes. toes. Not done. <laughs> Put the camera away. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me, but um, Kim is doing a thrifting live sale on May 15th. So she's doing like her promo content now, and I'm helping her out with it. So your girl, you know, I secured a little clip in a video or whatever. So let me show y'all a little BCS. One more little My services are done here. Bye guys. <laughs> okay, hey guys, it is 
Monday, April 25th. I just got my facial, which you guys are gonna see in a whole separate vlog. But I'm about to run to Target now to get some things because I've decided that for the month of May, I'm gonna do a giveaway for my birthday month. And I wanna get like some of my favorites to include in the giveaway. So it's gonna be like stuff that I purchased as well as like things that I have like from PR that I'm not gonna use. So yeah, I'm gonna go get that, get some stuff that I think I need, but I really don't, and then head home. So let's go. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, April 27th. And I woke up this morning, I worked out. I still haven't like showered or anything yet. I'm about to do my whole morning routine. But I wanted to, you know, hop on a vlog real quick to tell you guys what I'll be doing today because your girl will be vlogging today. So I'm about to shower, brush my teeth, wash my face, all of that. My face is peeling a little bit. Yeah, my face is peeling okay i got a facial monday and i did a revitalizing treatment so that usually makes my skin peel a little so you know i was expecting that after i'm done showering and stuff i need to put these items on my depop i'm screaming because i need to do it okay it's been pulled from my closet for about three weeks now and they're just here chilling sitting so i'm gonna go ahead and take pictures i'm just gonna take the pictures in my mirror i was gonna take them outside and have my niece take them but i'm gonna just take them in my mirror put them up and be done so make sure you guys check the description box down below i have tons of new items on my depop and i'm only keeping them up until i like get back from my birthday trips and then after that i'm just gonna donate them because i don't have the space the capacity to have them just sitting around waiting for people to buy them so whatever's left i'll donate to like a woman's shelter or um somewhere okay somewhere that it can go to good use i will donate it if items are not purchased by the time by like mid-may so yeah i have a couple of weeks to shop make sure you guys check out the items they're super affordable everything is going for like 10 12 or 15 dollars so definitely check it out and after i'm done putting those items on my z-pop i want to go outside because i feel like i haven't been out in a while and i've been trying to push myself to like be outside more and not outside like going to the club and going out to the spot and stuff but to just go out and do stuff so i think today i'm gonna go grocery shopping and i'll bring you guys along i think i'm gonna go to whole foods i think i want to go to whole foods i think so but we're gonna see so that is the agenda for today let's see if we can knock everything off matter of fact we are gonna knock everything off okay we're manifesting it we're speaking it into universe and it's gonna happen and yeah so let me go ahead and wash my ass wash my face and wash my mouth so your girl went ahead i took a shower i lotion my body i used my kapari hyaluronic ultra restore body butter i have been loving this stuff like when i tell y'all so good so freaking good i bought this during the sephora sale and baby it was one of my best purchases okay so i'm ready to take these pictures to knock them out i'll show you guys a little bts so in case you guys don't know i do sell my why is my phone not charging okay i do sell my clothes on depop depop is like a online thrift market you can describe it as and it's similar to like poshmark macari and all of these other thrifting apps they have nowadays but i love depop i've been using it for years and i have a good amount of followers i have 259 followers on depop and i just feel like through depop my items sell the best versus like poshmark and other platforms because i was using poshmark before i just personally prefer depop so i list my 
so yeah my phone's on the charger but i list my items on depop and basically what happens if you guys are interested in selling is you go ahead you take pictures and i think you can upload videos you can upload videos now too and you describe your item you put the condition the price the brand the size and all of that and basically when someone buys your item you can set it up so that your shipping is through depop which is what i do so based on the weight of the item you select it when you list the item and when someone buys the item all you have to do is print out the shipping label put it on the package and send it off you don't have to sit in line at the post office and wait to pay for the shipping depending on all types of stuff so i prefer to use depop shipping because it just makes it easier so as soon as someone buys an item from me depop emails me with that shipping label i print it out on my little um thermal printer if you don't have one you need to get one and the papers that i use for the thermal printer i get them for free from ups so i will have the link for that down below i just go ahead and print the shipping label out put it on a package i recycle packages from all of the packages that i get you guys know i shop a lot which is gonna stop but i just recycle those packaging so like my amazon slips brown boxes or any of that i just recycle that put the item in it ship it off and it notifies you when the item is delivered to the customer so it's super easy if you guys are thinking about doing a closet sale getting rid of stuff in your closet especially with the spring season you know spring cleaning and all of that stuff then definitely go ahead and check out depop no this is not sponsored but it could be okay it could be so i'm gonna go ahead and take a picture on these items so i can list them up i have so many things like i didn't realize how many things i pulled out of my closet until i looked at it this morning i'm like yeah this has to go because i'm tired of looking at it i already went ahead and i started listing items on saturday i think it was but my phone died every time i want to do this my phone is dead look at my phone now dead but i was just like let me take a break and then when i took a break i ended up ordering tacos watching snowfall all of the things i shouldn't be doing but Needless to say, we're back at it now, okay? So I'm going to show you guys a little BTS. I have on a little bralette from American Apparel and some general underwear. So I could just go ahead and pop things on and off. So let's go ahead. Cue the B-roll of me doing what I was supposed to do days ago. <laughs> Yeah, why did I have this dress in my closet for years? This is from ASOS. And I never wore it before and it fits so freaking well. I'm gonna list it, but low key, I might have to give it away because it's new with tags. I might have to give it away before I sell it, but I'm gonna go ahead and list it. If y'all wanna buy it, y'all can buy it. If not, your girl gone. Your girl gonna wear it one time for the one time, okay? The expiration date has not reached yet. Period. Okay, I had to take a little break because, listen, we have some things going on, okay? I know you guys are going to see soon, but I'm about to get back to doing my pictures. I think my phone charged. Yes, sir. We are at 93%, so let's go ahead and get these pictures done. was all I knew
Okay, so I went ahead and listed majority. Let me put some clothes on. Hold on. Okay, so I went ahead and listed the majority of the items on my Depop. I only have like a few more dresses and a few more bottoms to list, but I did a good amount. So I'm super proud of myself because this is something I've been meaning to do for about three, four, maybe even a month now. Three, four weeks to a month. And I finally am getting it done, period. So I'm about to get ready to go out now. I'm going to go to Whole Foods and Target and Port Chester. And that's it because I don't need to be spending no excess money. I don't need to be in all time. I don't need to be doing none of that. So, yeah, I'm going to go get what I need and come back home. I need to get groceries because I'm tired of ordering Uber Eats and spending $20 to $30 on each meal. It's just not cutting it, especially not in this new restructured budget period. So, I actually got a package in the mail today. I'm going to go get it real quick so I can show it to you guys. Okay. Can you guys guess what it is? I would show you guys a battery sticker, but my whole address will be exposed but this is something i've been meaning to get for a while i told you guys i meant to get it for a while and guess what i finally got it Let me go ahead and open this up this is a necessity especially for my trips coming up and all the vlogging i'm about to be doing because i'm giving y'all content in may okay i give y'all content all the time but may baby she gonna hit real different so I finally got a new battery for my vlogging camera. Woohoo! Your girl finally actually got it. So, this is the battery that my vlogging camera requires. This is the Canon LPE12 battery. If you guys don't know, I vlog with my Canon M50 and I vlog with a Canon. 22 millimeter lens that is my camera setup if you guys want more details i'll link the video where i went into detail up above but this is the battery that i need i had my vlogging camera for since 2018 i want to say my first vlogmas i bought it for myself so it's been quite some time now and i feel like overall like over time batteries die like you'll charge them and the charge just don't hit the same it doesn't so you have to replace your batteries you have to invest in your business period so new battery alert who is she who is she i wonder if it's charged because i could definitely bring it with me and i actually don't know where my other battery is so now i have a total of three batteries i believe if i find the other one but um yeah so i'm about to head out now i'll bring you guys with me i'm bringing my vlogging camera so i'll see you guys when we get to the first stop
everything I wanted from Whole Foods, but I'm about to head home now. I didn't go to Target, I didn't go to Ulta, and I didn't go to the Sephora or the Home Goods. So I'm proud of myself. I'm so, so proud of myself. I beat my face. Okay, I did my big motherfucking one. I just recorded. Oh, I didn't even intro the vlog for today. Today is Thursday, April 28th. I've been working all morning. I recorded Friday's video, which is a makeup therapy, which you guys should have already seen. And if you guys didn't, make sure y'all watch it after y'all finish watching this whole vlog, period. But I did my makeup. I have to record one more video. I'm trying to get ahead of my content. So that's exactly what I've been doing. And now that my face is like healed, it's not like 100% healed for my treatment, but you know, looks way better than before because I had so much purging going on. But now i feel more comfortable putting makeup on my skin um the sun was just here and i feel like it just disappeared but i wanted to give you guys an update on the topicals and grown tonic hold on let me grab it so y'all can see what i'm talking about okay y'all uh, it's this right here i need y'all to see this okay I showed you guys that I got that in last week's vlog and I've been using it consistently since I received it which has been what less than a week now and I had this I thought it was an ingrown hair but it ended up to not be that has been there since like it's been in there since I started waxing myself which was how many months ago five six and I squeezed it today and it popped out and I'm like I've been trying to get you out forever. I've been trying to get you out for months and you never came out until I started using that topicals ingrown tonic. And overall, my bikini area is way more smooth, like way more smooth. So I am going to keep using it. I'm going to keep using it and I've been using it and then spraying the topicals faded mist on top of it. That combo, chef's kiss. So when y'all see me on a beach near you. And you know the bikini area is just looking fine when I have on my thongkini and all of that stuff. Just know that these are the products that got me together, period. But my battery's dying and I need to edit this video so it can go up on Friday. So I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so real quick. I wanted to talk to you guys about something and I decided to just put it in the vlog. And maybe we could extend it into like, you know, a chit chat topic or whatever. But... Quick backstory. Your girl's been single for... I'm gonna declare it as almost 10 years <laughs> because you know some people you just can't count like some people you just gotta <gasps> you just can't you know what I'm saying so as far as my memory wants to go back in time I've been single for about 10 years so recently I've been like you know dating or whatever giving certain guys a chance and I don't know what it is but I just been turned off like maybe it's the selection that i've been making but i've just been turned off so i wanted to talk to you guys real quick about certain things that turn me off because i was speaking to my friend about it and she was like like something she agreed with and something she didn't so i'm just gonna go down the list of like things that i spoke to her about that i've experienced over you know my last little few weeks maybe months of dating um Things that just turn me off about guys. And y'all can let me know down in the comments. Like, is this a turn off for you too? Am I being dramatic? Like, let me know. Don't be afraid to let me know if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Because we friends, okay? We are friends. So, the first thing that turns me off about a guy is, like, communication. So, hold on. My battery's dying. It will never let me be great. Okay, so first thing is communication. So, one, if you're not communicating how you feel about things, but you expect me to know, um... Or if you just don't communicate at all, like you don't text, you don't call, none of that, that's a turn off for me. Second thing are cheap dudes. Okay, I'm back. So when I was saying cheap, I don't mean cheap as in I expect you to like, you know, do all these things, pay my bills, buy me shoes, buy me bags, all of that. I mean, all of that is nice, but that's not my expectation like if it happens it does, but I'm not like I need a man who's gonna do this. So when I say cheap, I mean like frugal i mean like scared to spend money and that's just people in general like that turns me off about friends too but guys mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, no the next thing i would say are people who i feel like they deserve you but they don't like how can i say this like people who haven't done anything to prove themselves to you but expect stuff you know what I'm saying? And it doesn't have to be physical. It doesn't have to be sexual. 
it can be like anything to me my thought process is always like what did you do to deserve this even with my life like certain things i'm like what do i feel like i did to deserve this or what am i doing to deserve this so it's the same thing for men like when they expect certain things or they ask for certain things it's like what did you do to deserve this and it's not being rude it's being realistic like what did you do to deserve this so that's another thing that turns me off but i asked you guys over on instagram what are some things that turn you off ladies and some of the responses were arrogance a lot of people say arrogance and that is a huge thing but i haven't spoke to arrogant man recently but when i did i was just like like who do you think you are <laughs> who do you think you are i just don't know who people think they are the arrogance kills me it's just like all of this for what like we're all people we all piss the same we all shit the same like who do you really think you are i don't know i just feel like ugh, no someone said dirty nails <gasps> i've always been a person who believed that men supposed to get manicures a lot of people tend to think that's like feminine but no because if your nails are dirty you're not touching me you're not touching my pussy with them dirty nails you're not touching my pussy with them dirty nails. so what are you doing like why are your fingers dirty why are you okay with your fingers being dirty no one told you that your fingers were dirty or you can't see that your fingers is dirty because i'm confused okay inconsistency yes that goes along the lines of what i was saying with communication i'm um, talking about sex story time <laughs> um dick pictures requesting pictures yes oh my god i have a million pictures on my instagram do not come to me asking me for pictures if i don't send them to you i send pictures i ain't gonna lie i have seventy thousand plus pictures on my phone i send pictures but if you have to ask for it once again what did you do to deserve this what did you do to deserve it let me know someone else said cons inconsistency arrogance a man who is not clean is a turn off yes clean in every way breath teeth s underarms everything clean it clean it and you could just look at someone and tell when they need a long bath and i'm not even attracted to people like that so i feel like god forbid you know i won't ever run into that but hygiene is super important like hygiene is so important someone said bad hygiene horrible teeth oh baby the teeth the teeth is always what gets me the teeth with the designer the bad teeth with the designer the bad breath with the designer no Put down a designer, go to your dentist, get your cleaning every six months, get braces if you need them. And I said people just be having bad teeth, A, or B, running to get veneers. And a lot of the time when people get veneers, not just men, women too, you need braces first. You need braces first because that dentist in Columbia, that dentist in Miami is not going to express your in your teeth. So guess what? Now that your original teeth are crooked, your veneers are now crooked, okay? I ain't a dentist, but you know, one plus one equals two. And those are all of the responses so far. So, um, yes, comment down below. Let me know what a turn off for guys are for you, ladies. Guys, too, like guys who watch us, who they guys, what is a turn off for a guy? Leave it down below. But I just wanted to share that little segment here because I was talking to my friend about it and she was like, You're being dramatic. But as long as they're sure, I'm just like, I can hang out with someone and just tell when things are off. And I don't know how to describe it. It's just be the vibe. Like, the vibe is so important. Like, I can't stress it enough. So, when I said that, she was like, no, like, describe it to me. And I'm like, I don't know how to describe that somebody's vibe was off. It's just that I just felt like the vibe was off. The energy was just off. And then when I started, like, speaking about, like, you know, I guess going into detail, she was like, oh, okay, I understand. But, like, overall, like, if a vibe is off, it's off. Like, I'm not even checking to see what's off. But once it's off, baby, it is off. And it is very hard and possibly not possible. Impossibly. I don't know. But it's not possible to turn it back on. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. I just wanted to share that real quick. I'm here editing Friday's video. Getting my graphics together. So, I'm going to do that not even real quick it's gonna take me a while because i was just like let me do a makeup therapy because i really just feel like doing my makeup like just because type of thing and i forgot how long it takes to edit these videos getting the graphics together finding the music because y'all know i'm dj kinesthetic i be trying to get good music for y'all so if y'all ever appreciate the music i put in my videos comment and let me know because it's hard work to find good songs on soundcloud but yes so music 
the clips i had like an hour worth of footage because i was just doing the most but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get this video together and i will talk to you guys a little bit later good morning good morning good morning happy friday today is friday april 29th it's also payday so you know your bra is hype hype okay i'm not just hype i'm hype hype i woke up this morning i worked out and i i'm about to get ready now to go meet um to go meet Tab and Jazz. So, um, so yeah, I'm about to go meet Tab and Jazz. Um, Tab is recording today for, um, I think I could say because it it's out already her summer jam announcement. So she's performing at Summer Jam. This is her first Summer Jam set. Last year when she did Summer Jam, she came out with, she came out with CJ, or she came out with Fabio. I think she came out with CJ, but I didn't go. So this year is going to be my first summer jam. Last year when I was supposed to go to summer jam, I actually ended up having COVID. So I didn't end up going and I didn't know I had it at the time. I just felt sick. So I was just like, I'm going to stay home. And then later I found out that I had it. But either way, God works in mysterious ways. This year is going to be my first summer jam. This is going to be my baby girl's first summer jam set. So I'm about to get ready real quick. I'm just going to hop in the shower, do my skincare, put on a quick little face and Head out to meet them, so I'll see you guys when I'm ready, because your girl's rushing. us drinking nutcrackers getting late you mm -hmm. feel me and be all the way in the nosebleeds that's what mm -hmm. I, that's what it, that's what i think about when i think about now me performing on the main stage it's like i will always think like damn who i got a feature with that's on the lineup and mm -hmm. i would be like oh let me come out like you feel me like that but now it's like damn i really work for this shit so yeah it's like now i'm like what am i gonna do my my imagination is so fucking big when it comes to my set like yeah. Shit, I don't even think the budget is. You know, I don't even think <laughs> I'm gonna ask you. It can happen. Well, I was gonna ask you, what are you doing pre to prepare? Like, are you gonna do dancers? Oh no, oh no, 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 baby. I've been dancing. I've been dancing every day in dance practice. But I'm preparing for tour too. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, going on tour five e. So mm -hmm. that's a month. So we preparing for the, the tour set. But we also, while we're on tour, we're going to be preparing for our summer jam yeah. set, too. So it's about to be a lot of dancing, choreo, you know, just showing, like, the Evolve Dream Doll and really showing people that I got this. So you can give us a routine or you can give us the, the TikTok dances. You're going to go full out, like... Oh, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Camilo in the mix. Nessa here. Got our very own Mia Bell, who's part of the show. Woo, we're so excited I'm to see you. I'm excited to be here. And it's lit in here. Wait, hold up. Dream Doll's here. She will be on that stage yes. at Summer Jam. Yes, Let's sir. make it real clear for everybody. Get y'all tickets, baby. I don't want to miss out. I'm a leader. When we met, she told me that she ain't no hope, but that's how I'm a traitor. Cause we speaking code. Hey, wanna fuck me in a rose. Then we be in bold. You did such a good job. I'm drained. I'm 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 mentally drained. I cannot hear nothing. <laughs> me, no, you did really. You almost made me cry. You did. When we was in the thing, I had Don't to hold my kids back. Bitch. When I was yeah. Hey guys, it's Sunday, May first, and it's two fifteen p.m. <laughs> And I'm, oh, my lips are so dry. Hold on. Okay, that's way better because maybe. Uh, I'm just not getting up. I'm tired. I had a long night. And I just wanted to come back on here to show you guys some things, little hauls before I close out the vlog. And 
finished editing it to upload it today i know there's been a lot going on you guys will see soon but yeah so i'm about to show you guys what i got from sephora some pr packages and does it sound like a man i'm about to show you guys what i got from sephora some pr packages happy may it's officially your girl's birthday month so better be sick of me okay t minus what five days into my birthday my birthday is may 6th and i'm ready okay i'm ready so i hope you guys are ready to be sick of me period before we close out today's vlog, I wanted to give you guys a quick little haul. So I got two items from Sephora. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. Is it really a video if the hood is not hooding? But I'm so tired. Like I had such a long night last night. But um things are happening, okay? Things are happening. So I hope y'all are ready. I ordered two small packages and they felt the need to send it in like two different packages. So yeah, I don't know. I think like Sephora. I want Sephora to be more conscious of our environment. Because all of this with two little products. Yeah, I could have just waited. I wasn't that thirsty for that. What I got from Sephora are two of the Dior lip oils. I think I may end up returning one of them. So I got the shade 000 Universal and 001 Pink. So let me show you guys 000. The girl's been raving about this. So we're going to see if the hype is real. So this is 000. It's real cute. Okay. It's real cute. I just um, moisturized my lips. So I don't want to try this out yet. But I'll let you guys know in upcoming videos what I think about them. And then this one is 001 Pink. Ooh. Let me know down below if you guys have tried these lip oils before, if it's on your wish list. I know they'd be sold out on Sephora. I happened to go on the app one day and they were both in stock. So I'm like, let me order both of them and see because I've seen people raving about both like colorways. So I went ahead and got that. So that's all I got from Sephora. I did order more things and it's crazy. I'm going to speak about it in um like a story time slash chit chat get ready with me slash... I don't know what type of situation yet, but in my last vlog, I told you guys when I was in Target with Sushi, I ordered so many things from Sephora, spent 200 plus dollars, and literally, like, my order got canceled, but, um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait to tell you guys, like, how everything happened, but yeah, so that's all I got from Sephora, and now I want to show you guys a PR package that I got that I'm really excited about, okay? I received a PR package from the Estee Lauder, the Estee Lauder. Like, can, can y'all believe it? Me, Kendra, Kinesthetic, Estee Lauder, like, let me show y'all what's inside. So there's this QR code to view the campaign so you guys can scan that if you guys are interested. And I showed you guys in a video, I think last year when I did the foundation oil test, that the Estee Lauder foundation actually isn't that oily. And it's not comedogenic. So, for the acne prone and textured girls like me, it, it's bae. Like, it's bae. So, this is what was inside. So, I have three shades of the Double Wear Stay in Place foundation and the... And three shades of the Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. So let me see what shades I have. So in the Double Wear, I have Rich Ginger, Amber Honey, and Bronze. Ooh, what's this? A eyeshadow quad. <laughs> Cute. Oh, a box. So I could like, you know, package it up. Oh, it's the pump. This is a pump. And then I have three shades in the Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. I have the shade Spice Sand, Amber Honey, and Bronze once again. So, thank you, Estee Lauder. I'm super hyped about this. Like, your girl got a PR from Estee Lauder. 
Like your girl got a PR from Estee Lauder. Who is she? Who is she? So that is it for this weekly vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part of the vlog was. Answer any of the questions in today's vlog. All links to the items mentioned in today's vlog will be down below. So make sure you guys check out the description box. And yeah, until my next video, which will be tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Love you.